Hello friends, welcome to this current session within etltestingtutorial.com. Today I am going to start with how could we download SQL Server and how we are going to install that and how could we interact with the database, how can we create in short from mod in module number 3 I have explained module number 3, 4 and 5 the requirement of SQL and the queries that I can run with the, uh, within SQL now the platform that we need for SQL is SQL Server. Like we have different, uh, we have many platforms that I could use. Okay. To use SQL, we have MySQL. We have SQL Server. We can work with Oracle, and the platform that I am going to use within my recorded session is SQL Server that is the product by Microsoft okay so let's see how can we download and then we'll see how can we install that uh, complete description step by step installation I'll explain okay so just search for SQL Server if you want to download and if you could see we have different different versions uh, 2016 12 14 17 you can install any one you want and just click on to this microsoft.com the link back and log in into your account if you don't have your account you can create it it's totally free of cost you can just sign in if you have and I'll log in into my account with my credentials you'll use yours So within that I'll go for this download tab, and it will give us three options to install with or to download with it's free evolution free trial evolution developer edition and the express edition and the version that I'll use is express edition if you read this is specifically 2017th version right and I already have the version that is 2012 I have already downloaded this so this is Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Express Edition. Okay, so you can also work with the current version that is uh, the recent one. Right, it will not make much differences. And I'll also share this these versions that I'm using if you want to work with with these. Okay, so I'll just double click on that and it will start installing on my machine. will take some time let's wait it's extracting all of the files so this SQL server is from Microsoft that is the important thing to uh, remember here because we are going to work with this so and And one more thing, I have taken the screenshot of each and every step. This is the very first step that I just did. Okay, actually I already have that. So, but if you'll install it for the very first time, you'll not get that um, that error pop up. So, but for the first time, it's, it's as simple as after clicking on this, you'll get this page that I'm getting here. Okay, so now here, if you look at it's giving us two options. You can install new SQL Server as a standalone application, or you can also upgrade it to the higher version. I'll just go for this new SQL Server standalone application. I want to install that, and this is the step two that I am getting. So after that, this step will come. So these all are the steps that you will get, so that you'll follow up everything that I am using and that you will get on your part okay after this step let's see yeah this is what we are getting right so after that just accept the license and next and these are some of the information regarding the product and here it is 
collecting the files and the update files it is having it is scanning it's downloading and then it will start the installation setup files right so let's wait for some time now the three of the steps are completed right so four tasks it is actually working with and the last one now is in progress we'll wait some more time then i'll uh, we'll see with the next step we have already done we have already faced we are right now in this step and after that this step will come let's see it's in progress right yeah, so we are done with all of the four tasks now we will see the next step that is setup process the current operation let's see yeah so this is what i was looking for so our first step is done now this is the very important step it's giving us that which all features you want to install like the database engine or SQL server application or the feature that is uh, that will by default will come if you want you can uncheck this box if you don't want to work with the replication feature of that but I'll keep it as it is so database is the one with which we'll work and the these are the two instances within SQL server okay and we'll mainly work with the database engine services and next second step is working currently after that some of the rules the disk space what are the, uh, the requirement of the system okay so this is the instance id with which it it will be viewed within the services file i'll show you uh, the file that i'm talking about so this is the name of the instance and the id the name of the instance is sql express and the id for that is also sql express and the location will be this one or if this location is uh, filled it will say that uh, you want to replace the content let's see instance configuration is done and all done and the server that it will use next will not change thing that will affect the work of the SQL at the server so this is again one more important step how you want to log in how you want to work how you want to open your SQL server right it's Windows authentication or you want to work with the SQL server authentication what you want you can write the password you can set the password I'll use PAWS or if you don't want you can go for Windows authentication method if you select the second option it will work for both Windows as well as with the password and the uh, user ID what is the user ID it's SQL Express right that was just uh, with an instance configuration we were getting that and error reporting if you want it to send to the server I'll just keep it as it is. I'll not check the box, or if you want, you can check. It will not make any change. And now the installation is it's working for the time. We'll take again some more time. Let's wait. The installation is almost done. It took around five to ten minutes. This is actually the last second step. After that, we'll get this complete for the installation. And yeah, this is what is expected. So we are getting database engine, we are getting the SQL Server browser and the writer. Right? And we have here if you see within the features file, this one. This is I think fourth step during the installation. We were working with the database engine and the server replication. We are getting all of these things, right? But what about the one, what about the uh, platform where we'll write the queries? We are not getting that thing within this SQL Express, uh, this one, this file. 
so the next thing with which we'll work is sql management studio because this is the one that will provide us that platform the instance is created with the installation of, installation of this sql express the instance is ready that is sql express within services file but how could I, how could we interact with the database how could we interact with sql server so for that we need this sql management studio to be installed on my machine you will see the differences during the installation steps only how it is different than sql express so these both files you need during the installation of sql server so we are done with this uh, sql express and i'll close that and if you look for sql server you'll not get the option to uh, you'll not get any of the application with which you could work where you could write the queries okay but if you open the services file as i said the instance is prepared with the installation of that sql express if you just search for sql you'll get these four services inside that can you see this sql express this is the one that we are getting that we'll get only after installing this sql express okay so the instance is created or i could say that the back end is ready the back end where we'll which will support our queries is prepared after the installation of this but the platform where we could write the commands to interact with the database we need okay so let's install this one now sql management studio double click on that and again we'll see some of these steps will be same and the features file that is the step i was saying the important one the features file is different this one okay we'll see it's still working and this file the file the word file that i am using i'm i'm showing you is the one that i have the uh, the screenshots of each and every step i have taken so that you could follow this that you will get this file you will get within the download code of your account so just log in into your account I'll show you where you'll get this file, and in this, just click once on that, and you will get the ETL pack, a folder in which the file of this installing the SQL Server and installation of Oracle or the Informatica I have used. Okay, so let's start with the installation of Management Studio. Again, the same step: new SQL Server standalone application. Click here, and. these all steps are also present yeah this is the one i'm working with right after that this one again as i was saying the same steps will come but the features file will be different let's see okay and no update for sql next and again scan for the updates and extract all of the setup files and install the setup files and downloading if need right and again it will take some time as a sql server so here again seven eight steps we are getting the same steps but okay installation type a new installation i want add feature to the existing one i'll go for a new installation and the license i accept and the after that feature yeah this one see the features file for the previous installation we were not getting this management tool option right because this is something that is present within sql server management tool only it's already selected 
I'll keep it as it is. Check and after that all of these steps will follow. Error reporting next and installation progress. It is in progress. Let's wait. It's almost done and actually it is taking less time than SQL Server. Let's express addition and we are done. So it is showing me the status has succeeded and close. Okay, so we are after that surely we'll able to work with the SQL Server. We have already done this. So again, the services file, if you open within SQL Server Express, it's already running. If you right click, see, maybe you will not get this. Maybe it's not running for your system. Okay. So just make sure that it's SQL Server. Right click. If it's not running, you can start that. And if it is already running, that then it's fine. Let's now open the instance for SQL Server. Now, can you see? Previously, after installing this SQL Express, we were not getting the instance, we were not getting this management studio as a desktop application that I am getting now. That is because of this SQL management studio. So let's open that. And after this only, we will see the requirement of this. What is the reason of saying that it should be in running, it should be in the status as it's already running or if it's not running, you can connect with that and run. Okay, and now see, this is the one, the server name, this is the current name of, this, uh, of my system and the authentication, it's selected as Windows authentication, you can also go for SQL server. Okay, I'll firstly show you for Windows authentication and the server name and this is the database engine we are getting and one more thing see SQL server comes with many more utilities right now we are working for the database engine only this 2012 is for database engine only and that is sufficient for our videos that you should know okay the database engine here comes with it, it comes with integration services it comes with reporting services that all we don't need that's why I'm using the database engine only and let's connect with that. So if you are successfully able to connect with it means your service is running and my service is already running. And if you look at this word file here I have taken the screenshot if your SQL express instance that service is not working within the services file you will get this get this error message. So this error message is, is just because of your, if your service is not running. So make sure that your service is up. And this is not only for SQL Server. If we'll work with Oracle, we have, we'll have the service for Oracle as well. Oracle XE that I'll show you in the next videos. Okay. So SQL Express is the one that should be in the status as it's already running. This one, it's running. Okay, this is the status if it's not running it will uh, be like with a different message it will come and that's all how we can install that and now last thing that I'll tell you where is the location where we could write the queries that is not showing here so just click once onto this new query and you will get the page where you'll see that in my recorded session I'm working with the different queries with the uh, DDL commands, DML commands, DCL commands and TCL commands. Right, it's few of the commands. I am also showing with the Oracle database like with the uh, DCL. DCL means the control languages in which I'll use uh, the to provide the privileges to the database as an administrator grant and revoke that all things I have covered within Oracle the rest of the things I'm showing that thing within the SQL server only right 